Roku is one of the most powerful and influential and distributed streaming platforms in the entire world, especially in the United States. There are over 50 million accounts for Roku and there are approximately 150 million people who go on Roku every month to watch videos. I'm going to show you a ton of video thumbnails that were promoted to me today on Roku's website and on our TV on the home screen where all of our kids see these ads. I apologize for what I'm about to show you, but I want to show you to drive home the point that this is what Roku is standing for. There is a lot of garbage content being promoted on Roku, and I imagine it's being promoted because it's probably selling, it's probably getting viewed, but it's, it's like feeding millions of people into harmful lifelong addictions and um, pre-programming their brains to do terrible things with their lives. Now I realize why Roku is serving up such garbage. They're serving it because people are clicking on it. It's leading to user growth, engagement, and revenue. But that is no excuse for doing this. Uh, there's no reason why any streaming platform should allow evil to be on their platform, to allow pornography, to allow killing reenactments, to allow, you know, people trying to act like demons. There's no reason why we need to invite and allow and support evil. You know, you wonder why we have such a problem with violent crime and sex crime and addictions. And then you look at our streaming platforms and they are promoting those behaviors every day by the content that they promote. These are not just served up on the website, but they are being actively promoted to Roku viewers. And I can't uh, in good conscience recommend Roku to anyone anymore, uh, especially those with families, because uh, currently there's no way to block a lot of the harmful advertising that they have. Now, I hope that changes. I hope they make a way that you can opt out of home screen ads, for example. Roku is going down a path that I just can't support anymore. And so I would invite you to consider quitting Roku and looking elsewhere for your video streaming needs because this is just unacceptable. Now in making this video, I don't mean to attack any singular person at Roku. I'm sure that most people at Roku are amazing individuals with good values. And I know there's a lot of pressure in a company to bend to the will of your investors, you know, to try to make $1 turn into $10 and to crank up the pressure any way you can to create more revenue. But I will remind you of the scripture that says, you know, that the love of money is the root of all evil. And here's an example of how the love of money has corrupted Roku and not just Roku, but a lot of video streaming platforms. So one alternative to Roku is the Google Chromecast. I ordered one. They cost, I think, about $30 on Amazon. And from what I understand, they do not have any home screen ads that promote garbage. If you have any other ideas of other streaming solutions, please comment in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider giving this uh, a thumbs up and uh, subscribing to our channel. I love you all and I hope you have a good day.